You want inspiration galore and ideas as far as your imagination can carry you? You've got to visit a local quilt show. Last weekend was the Austin Area Quilt Guild's biannual quilt show. There were vendors, there were raffles, there were handmade items and silent auctions, but mostly there were amazing quilts. What follows is a highlight, a tiny fraction of the talent that was on display. I hope you enjoy these features and I hope you too love a rainbow quilt. This is absolutely stunning. The quilting on this is what's amazing. Casey, can you get a close up? You may have to get oblique to it. Toby, can you bring the light up beside him? Look at that. So much detail. And I love the organic nature of the cutouts. Thank you. Love a two color quilt. I love a two color quilt. And all the reds, all the different reds. It's my use more, use more. When you can't figure out what to do, use more. This is made and quilted by my friend Cheryl DeGan. And it is, of course, beautiful as all of her things are. And look at that ribbon. Look at that ribbon. The ribbons were made by our friend Marie here and they turned out just beautifully. You guys, the custom quilting, all of the color around the edges in the borders, that's quilting, that's just thread work. Look at this. Oh my God, the hours. And can you see this micro quilting here? Teeny, tiny, that's a two inch square and all of that little bubble quilting in there. Oh my God, it is absolutely stunning. It's called Viva La Vida by Karen C. Lambden. It is a collaboration quilt. Karen is the quilter. Oh wow, and of course it has a blue ribbon as it should. Blading lizards, it's just adorable. It's absolutely adorable. It's made by a math professor. We'll get a copy of the tag here in just a minute. All the handwork embellishment and these funny little lizards in tessellating shapes. So clever. Some of them have little mouths of prairie points that open. And of course it has a blue ribbon. So, so sweet. I love whimsy. I love to see someone's personality. Ooh, I like this flange binding too. Casey, can you catch up this? It's a scrappy flange binding. Very cool detail. Tessellating Lizards by Allison Sutton. So this is another quilt by my friend Cheryl DeGan. I can spot a Cheryl quilt from a mile away. This is hand quilted, machined pieced, machine pieced and hand quilted. It is absolutely beautiful. Soft colors, curved piecing, which is something that I am really excited to delve into and play in that area. And the hand quilting is just, just beautiful. Second place ribbon. I love a rainbow. You know I love a rainbow. And the next three quilts are rainbow quilts. This one's by Heather Robinson. Hand quilted curved piecing. Again, you see a theme. With that big stitch, beautiful accent hand quilting. And this one with the stars and the rainbow. And this one is by Natalie Bryan. Those look paper pieced, which is not my forte, but this is done so beautifully. And then here with the stars, this is by Sandra Harris. Foundation paper piecing again. Look at those points. And then the hand quilting that matches this time, matching thread. And then in the yellow, it's contrast thread. 
That's kind of an exciting detail. I love that. Look at that border and binding too. So much fun. Here we have another quilt by Cheryl DeGan. Though the quilt is not by Cheryl, but the quilting is. The quilt is a vintage piece that maker unknown. Guys, it's so important. So much of our history is maker unknown. Labeling your quilt, documenting your work is super, super important. But look at, look at how beautiful this is and nobody knows who did it. Cheryl found this piece at, or the blocks and matched, matched it and assembled the top and then hand quilted in that little one inch um, diagonal grid. Stunning. My name is Kim Place and um, I'm part of the Austin Modern Quilt Guild and a bunch of our guild members got together and did this thing called the Exquisite Corpse. And they chose the fabrics they wanted in their individual quilts and then they made rules about what they wanted to happen in their quilts. And so I believe the, the person that chose the colors and everything for their quilt, they made a block and it's a strip on this one. And then they hand it off to the next person. I think you only get to see the one previous oh. when they're making it. So they don't get to see the whole quilt. And then at the end, it's revealed and That's they have a finished cool. quilt. Yeah. That's a great process. Thank you so much. You're Kim. welcome. All right. Here we are again at the Austin Area Quilt Show with more beautiful quilts. I love a red and white quilt. This one's called Kite Chaos. By Claudia Porter. I'm just going to walk through and show you. Oh, look at this one with the Aboriginal prints. This is absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can get some good light on it. And some close-ups on these beautiful prints from Australia. Let's see, who made this one? This one is made by Rebecca Louise Salinger. Oh, another one with beautiful quilting. Let's see if I can get some highlight on all of that beautiful quilting. There's so much talent here, guys. So much talent in the guild. If you are local and you're not a member of the guild, I do hope you'll join. We have an amazing program coming up this year and next. And this one, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Mary Helen Ruth. And then we have our pineapple theme quilt here. Very clever, very cool. I think we saw this quilt in Dallas as well with the carousel and the little scenes and the painted by Marjorie Hedges. And it's won a ribbon here. Very cool. All of the detail of the people at the fair. And sparkles on the carousel. I don't know if we can get those to flash. Here we go. Very, very cool. All right. Again, you guys, you know I love a rainbow. Look at this. It's so bright and happy. And these inner squares, they're solids. And look, these little two inch, two and a half inch squares with the little designs and the little folks on them. So cute. 
So, so cute. I love this. Let's see who's made it. It's called Charmed Remix by Kathy York. It's a little overexposed. These landscape and pictorial quilts are absolutely beautiful. This one's by Annette Kennedy. I think I've seen her work before, maybe at the Dallas show as well. This one is by Marie Welsh, and it represents the monarchs as they, as they migrate to Mexico. And Austin and the central Texas area is a rest stop, and that's the title is rest stop and I believe this was part of a cherry wood challenge last year. I love these. You've got you're playing with scale here. We've got the rainbow cloud and the tiny half square triangles of rainbow of rainbow rain. And that one's called April Showers by Pamela Painter. And then up here hanging just to the right of it you have one that's much smaller with the teeny tiny rainbow half square triangle rain called Rainbow Sprinkles by Diana Baldwin. I'm gonna back up and show them to you together. Isn't that fun? Okay, we have a Star Wars quilt and Ninja Turtles and Gundam and all the things, Serenity, Firefly, all down there, there's Serenity. I'm a big Firefly fan, I'm a super nerd. And look, Calvin and Hobbes is Marty and um, Doc, Doc Smith from Back to the Future. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. And then we have, the DeLorean meets the doctor. Portal. Here's the back of the mouse. And then the front of the mouse. So cute. Right up my, I mean, it's hitting all my little nerd things. And a beautiful ribbon. This one is called Brad's T-shirt quilt made by Lori Glomsky. Oh, this is one of the Tula pink paper piecing. Let's see if I can get some light on that. There we go. Let me get the label. And it won a ribbon. There we go, Tula Novel, made by Annette Cooter and quilted by Cheryl DeGan. And look at the quilting. Let's see if we can get oblique to it. Oh, custom quilting all around, absolutely stunning. Enhances every single section of the quilt. Look at these hearts. So, so cute. So much time and love went into that. Oh, that is really special. But I was saying, I always come away with a million ideas, which is awesome and problematic because I want to do all the things all the time. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get up close so you can see the colors. These soft, vintagey prints. Oh, and fussy cut up here. Look at that. Mrs. Billings Coverlet by Shirley Ann Gentry. Quilter was Angela McCorkle. And of course it has a beautiful ribbon. Now there's a dachshund quilt that my kids saw last night that they want me to see. But I keep getting stuck by the rainbows, guys. Rainbow, I love a rainbow quilt. Another of Tula's paper piecing quilts. Oh my gosh. This quilt was made 
by the Austin Modern Quilt Guild, North B. And I happen to know that because I am a member of that B. And so all of my mates made blocks for this quilt. And then one person set it all together. I believe April did. And April Atlas. And then, because I wasn't able to participate in the block making, this is quilted by Anna DeMint, by my daughter. And Anna did such a lovely job emphasizing the hearts and playing with the swirls. Had a good time, really loved it. Now this quilt will be donated. She used this beautiful, it matches the background, this beautiful light green omni thread. And look, you can see it in the, can you see in the dark? And then just a little bit in the purple. Playing with thread color is something that's really interesting in quilting and can make a huge difference. You saw the one earlier where all the quilting and so much of the design work was a tribute or was the thread color and the quilting. But this one, I just love it. It's a charity quilt and it will be donated and I hope somebody loves it as much as we had fun making it. Okay guys, I should have come around the corner so you could get the full effect like I did. But look at this quilt. I mean, it's Houston Astros. So, you know, we're in Texas. It's gonna be par for the course, but look how dynamic it is. And then I'm gonna get up really close and I'm gonna show you the insanity that is this quilting. Let's see if we can get a good, a good, let me see, adjust my light here. Can you see this? Can you see, oh, look at this guys. It is absolute, the whole thing, the whole star is covered this way with this tiny, tiny little matching thread. See, it's cream here orange here, darker orange here, into the gold and the navy. Oh, it is absolutely stunning. And this is by Susie Howell. It's called Go Astros. Susie Howell and Quilt. So you can see the whole thing. And it's hemmed up at the bottom. You can't even see it's bigger than this. It is absolutely gigantic. Gotta make sure I don't run into the quilts behind me. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, tiny pieces, guys, look. I'm gonna back up so you can see the whole thing. Tiny pieces. Teeny, tiny pieces set on point. Oh my gosh, so, so sweet. I'm about to embark on a tiny pieces quilt I don't know that I'll do the around the world. This one is made by Anna Kell and quilted by Dawn Galstab. Hand sewed the blocks for this quilt. Hand sewn on the go. It was a travel and take, take along project. Let's see, here we go. Quilt of a glow in the dark thread. Too clever hand sewn one inch finished squares. Hmm. Hmm. Ideas. Ideas there are brewing. I am here with my friend Debbie Denderman and her beautiful, beautiful paper piece quilt. Let's see if we can get the whole thing. I got to turn my light on. I'm going to blind you for just a minute. Oh, there we go. I'm going to back up so we can see the whole thing. Beautiful. Now, Debbie, is this a legit kits quilt? No, this is, is by Pride and Joy Quilting. Pride and Joy Quilting. Yes. It's absolutely stunning. Vermeer's, I, uh, based on Vermeer's painting, Pearl, Pearl Earring. I love it. And I saw this and I just had to do it. I've never done paper piecing before, ever. Never done paper piecing before. You're not going to catch up on my mic. I'm going to stand close I've to you. I've never had so, done paper piecing, but I said I have to try to do it. It is so. absolutely stunning. You've yeah. never done paper piecing before and you jumped in with this. I jumped in with this one You know, that's first. my, people ask me sometimes, what's your best advice to a beginner quilter? That's it. Find yeah, the project right, right. you love because that's the one that will 
That's the one that'll keep you going. And look, look at this beautiful ribbon. Mention. I'm so oh, proud. Here we go. Come on, focus. Well, we're not gonna focus. So much editing. So, that's so camera. Mm -hmm. So you you pieced it. Who quilted this? Eads. Debbie Eads quilted this. I love the choice of the straight line quilting. I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. This quilt is beautiful. The quilting is absolutely beautiful by Debbie Eads. The quilt is by Stacy Napier. It's one of the Tula Pink. It looks like it's the hand piecing and applique. Yes, it is. And those teeny tiny flying geese. It is so bright and so happy. And it won all these ribbons and it won one of the Judges' Choice ribbons as well. Outstanding. Okay, and here we are with my friend Ian's quilt, Daydreamer, the butterfly effect. It is absolutely stunning. And his placement and care with the positioning of the butterflies and the borders, and then his quilter, oh, Nancy Houston, did an amazing job. I love it, I love it. And you guys have seen Ian in another video. I'll link that below and above. But he has such a talent and an eye for color. Oh, it's so exciting to see his quilts hanging. This is another quilt by Kathy York. It is absolutely stunning. Ribbons galore, of course, as it should be. And it's a companion piece to her other one with the small, same similar motif, the square and a square and a square with the little, all the scrappy little bits carefully chosen to highlight design and motif and you see all the little fussy cut bits in it. Very fine straight line quilting. Is it hand quilted? Machine quilting, but in matching thread. So beautiful and so striking. I love the purple binding. Oh, it just, you know, guys, I, I love a rainbow quilt. I'm gonna say it again and again and again because I do, I love a rainbow quilt. Did you get the card? You may have to take a still of the card. Here's another of Ian's quilt. It's called this stuff is bananas. You know, I've got to keep it clean for the YouTube folks. But I love it. I love it. I love that it's a commentary on life and circumstance and time right now. And I'm just glad to see it hanging in a show. I know it has gotten rejected from a few shows because people tend to be uptight, but I love to see it hanging. Congrats, Ian, I love seeing it. And here is the fourth of Ian, third, third? Sorry, Ian, the third of Ian's quilts hanging in the show. It's called the Queen of Ween and I, you know, I am not a Halloween girly, but this is stunning. And the quilting, the quilting is absolutely amazing. Can you get that? I may have to get one of the white glove ladies to show us the back. Or I can show, I can show you the back when I, when I take it down to send back to him. But it is absolutely gorgeous. And I love to see it hanging. I. I think it should have a ribbon. Okay. Here we're looking at the best of show quilt for the Austin area quilt guild 2024. It's a quilt by, it's called Hold On To Your Heart by Ellen Conacenti and Luis Claire. It's all hand applique built over many, many years and custom quilted inch by inch by Luis and it is absolutely beautiful. It was on display in Houston, I think a year ago, not for, not for competition, but just on display as part of a tribute. And I just, it's stunning. The workmanship is absolutely beautiful. And the ribbons, the ribbons are gorgeous too. Marie did a beautiful job with the ribbons. I hope you can see the quilting and the detail. Show the little pineapple. Each of the little 
pineapple, I'm not gonna touch the quilt, I promise, but each of these little pineapple motifs, the little dark pieces that you see on the top are hand appliqued on top of the little semicircle piece. I say that. It's no, print. it's all fussy cut prints. It's all fussy cut prints to look like pineapple textures. And there's beading. It's just lovely. <laughs> Guys, it's Kathy York again. I I just love her style. I love her quilts. I don't know that I know Kathy. And it, uh, that seems like such a failing. I'll have to get to know Kathy because I just love the combination of the bright rainbow colors and the fussy cutting and the cute motifs and the color sense. And I'll say it again, I love a rainbow quilt. It's just bright and happy and how can you not be in love with this? Kathy York and it's called. I had so much fun at the show. Thank you for joining me and looking at these lovely quilts and be sure and smash those like and subscribe buttons. As I mentioned, this is a tiny fraction of the talent that was on display. And I find that to be true at all quilt shows. I am always inspired, whether it be an international show like Houston or Paducah or Wisconsin or a tiny community bee or guild show. There is beauty and talent around every corner. I hope that you get to visit or even enter a quilt show and be inspired. I also hope that you never forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. For more quilt show inspiration, check out this video. I'm Amy and I'll see you next time.